Well, hey guys, so I am sitting in a random spot in my house. I am on my dining room floor. I'm surrounded by bins and tons of kids' clothes because I'm getting ready to consign my kiddos' winter clothes. So every season, I consign their clothes, and I use the money that I make from consigning to buy their next season, the upcoming season's wardrobe. Um, we don't have many people in our life who hand down clothes to us. Um, sometimes that happens, but it's not sort of a regular thing. So every season when my kids outgrow clothes, I've got to buy new stuff. And so this is a way that it keeps things economical and a little more affordable for us. I buy a lot of clothes for my kids um, on consignment. Uh, I find some really cute stuff and really, really good deals. Um, I'm really picky about what I what I purchase. Of course, I don't want my kids to wear junk. <laughs> um, so anyways, I just kind of wanted to share with you the process that I'm kind of going through, what things are looking like where I'm at. I'm in my dining room because my son is in the living room playing and kind of watching TV and stuff, um, and I don't want him to get into all the piles of these clothes, because that won't make me happy. <laughs> so um, I'm going to flip you around. It's a little chaotic, I'll be honest, but I'm going to kind of just share with you the process of what I do, and yeah. Okay, so I've just got this big bin here of clothes. We had a yard sale over the weekend, and so some of the things actually sold, and so that's why everything is sort of in a disarray. Um, it actually rained for our yard sale uh, the first day that we did it. We were under like a tarp type thing, but anyways, it's kind of all mixed up. Normally everything is fairly organized. Um, I've got some clothes over here in this box, and there's our little poochie sleeping. So I've got some clothes here. And then on Colt's high chair, these are all of the things uh, that are just um, either stained or I just cannot consign them. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Uh, I don't feel right about donating them because they are stained. Um, so we'll see what I end up doing with those. But for now, they are just on Colt's high chair. So here in front of me, I've got some of Colt's things. Um, I was trying to separate it boy and girl and trying to keep it sort of um, by their sizes. I've got a variety of sizes here <laughs> in these piles because there's everything from newborn all the way up to 5T. Uh, some of these clothes had been stored away uh, at my in-laws house when we um, lived there and I just I never did anything with them. I forgot that they were stored away so hoping to get a few bucks for them. So up here on the count or the table, uh, these are um, all of Aubrey's um, 4T, 5T shirts. So I've just got them laid out. Every time I come back from consigning, I usually have every piece of clothing folded individually. But when it, I get things back for the things that they didn't take, they always have them kind of laid out on top of one another like this and then the arms are all folded back so they're kind of like little packages so I'm assuming that that's kind of how they go through things so that is what I'm trying to do here um, I've got some of Colt's jeans and then this pile right here uh, is some dresses and cardigans and then this big pile in the back, that is all summer stuff. So um, my consignment store does fall and winter uh, from, I think, about July till, um, oh, I don't know, maybe March or so. They accept fall and winter things, and then the rest of the months, it's always spring and summer items. So I'm hoping to kind of fit everything into this bin here and then this bin as well. Um, and then what I will do is I will get all of the uh, spring and summer things folded up and set away for that season when it's time to consign those. And then in this bin here, I've got a lot of different sleepers. So if you are a consigner, I'm gonna give you a tip. When it comes to your fleece items, this is the best tip that I can possibly ever ever give you and it has um, served me so well. Okay, so this suit is a 24 month. My daughter wore this for months and months and months and if you can see, it is like brand new. 
Um, and it's because of how I wash my fleece that I'm able to keep my fleece from pilling. And um, a lot of times consignment stores will take my sleepers because they look so brand new and hardly used, even though we use them like crazy. So what you want to do is you want to fold your clothing, your fleece clothing, inside out so that the inside is the part that gets the pilling and not the outside. So that is a tip for you if you can sign clothes or if you're just, <laughs> you know, looking to um, keep your clothing looking newer, longer, your fleece. Um, fold it inside out. If you can zipper it and all of that, that's even better because that means that the um, the front or the back will be protected. Um, and again, it's the inside that gets all pilly. So there's a tip for you. Okay, so here's where I'm at. I've got this tub almost mostly filled and this is primarily with Colts things as well as all of the pajamas. So I have all the pajamas grouped here and then some here as well. Um, and what I did is this, if I ever have outfits that have uh, matching pants with them, I put them together. So I've tucked the pants inside of here. There's actually another shirt or two that goes with this. So um, some of the clothes from the yard sale, because it had rained, they got wet. And so I'm just going to throw them in the washing machine and kind of freshen them up. So I'm leaving some space in here to allow for that. Um, I put all of the pants and jeans in one pile for cold. So I'm trying to just do, um, you know, specifics. So this is all boy and then the other one will be mostly all girl. And then, in this section here, I have done shirts. Now, on, t yeah, on top, are I grouped all of his smaller shirts together. So everything from size 12 month down in one pile, and then everything from, you know, 2T up in the bottom pile. And then underneath are some sweatshirts. So I just want it to sort of just be easy for uh, the people at the consignment shop. I know that they do this all day long, every day. However, I just want it to be easy. Um, I seem to have a lot of success when it comes to consigning clothes, and I'm hoping that some of that is because, A, I keep my clothes in really good condition, and I don't give them stained junky clothes um, and then also because I keep it kind of organized I know if I were the one sifting through a bunch of clothes I would um, and they were all kind of a disorganized mess it would not make me happy <laughs> so this is the pile here that still needs to go into the washing machine there's only a few items that I'm actually going to consign with this round a lot of those are just uh, little sleepers and t-shirts and things so um, yeah, there's that. And then now I'm going to go ahead and start work on this bin. Okay, so in this section I've got all of Aubrey's shirts. Um, and in this top area, these are all cardigans. This is a dress. So again, I did the same thing. The smaller shirts are all on top, kind of grouped together. They're separated by a sweatshirt, and then on the bottom are her larger shirts. Now, over in this area, I'm going to put all of the shoes, accessories, um, anything like that. Uh, we'll just stick them here on the bottom. It totally pains me to get rid of some of these shoes. They are just like the cutest little things. And of course, you know, she only wore them a few times, but oh my goodness, they're so adorable. I just, I love these. These are from Walmart. I don't even know if she ever ended up wearing them. Um, and then these two. Oh my gosh. These cute little bunny slippers. So many cute things. Oh, and these. These are from Jimbery. She hardly wore those either. It's painful. It's so painful. Okay, so this is the final look at this box. I do still have some coats and snowsuits that I'm not sure where they went. Um, they may still be at my in-laws house in the mad rush of all of our um, yard sale cleanup. But I've just got some coats here on top. And then I put the jeans here. So I've still got lots of room in this bin for um, just some of those wet clothes. And if I find... Uh, there's also a Halloween costume. It's super cute. It's a raccoon. Um, so that will go in here. 
but other than that that is what my two bins look like and I'm going to drop them off tomorrow another tip for consigning drop your clothes off as early in the day as possible um, my consignment store recommends that you get there right when they open so that you have the best chance of getting your clothes looked at uh, during the day as well as you kind of it's kind of first come first serve if they have a limited amount of say like girls tea 2t clothes that they can take and you've got girls 2t clothes they're going to go through your things um, first and kind of draw from those items so anyways um, I will get these things there and hopefully we will have a good consignment store haul